Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Jeffrey Sion and Isha Caravade. This is a game from Iron Man tournament played in 2018. Jeffrey Sion had white pieces and he started with e4. Isha Caravade played c6, d4, d5, Karo Khan defense, e5, the advanced variation, black to move, c5. Bishop to f5 is the most played move. c5 was played. This move is quite popular too. d takes on c5, e6, knight to f3, bishop takes on c5, a3, knight to e7, bishop to d3, knight to g6, and both players cast at king's side. Why to move? How would you continue? Perhaps Developing the knight on b1 comes to mind, so knight to c3, or maybe bishop to g5 is not a bad move. Jeffrey Sion played knight to g5, provoking h6. Bishop to e7, what's wrong with h6, kicking the knight back? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? If h6, the knight takes on f7 removing the defender of the knight on g6. After rook takes on f7, bishop takes on g6. Back to our game. Bishop to e7, threatening bishop takes knight. Why to move? How would you continue now? Jeffrey Sion played queen to h5, threatening checkmate. Bishop takes on g5, bishop takes on g5, attacking the queen, queen to c7, knight to c3, White is standing better. Black to move. Knight to c6 was played. Why not queen takes pawn on e5? Then rook from a to e1, attacking the queen, and white is too much ahead in the development. So instead of queen takes on e5, knight to c6 was played. Attacking the pawn on e5, f4 defending, knight to d4, rook from a to e1, white army is fully mobilized, h6, attacking the bishop, what is the best square for the bishop, what would you do, is h4 the best square, please pause and find the best move for white, if bishop goes to h4, then knight can simply chop the bishop, there was a surprise, Jeffrey Sion played bishop to f6. Should black take or not? Would you take on f6? Well, Isha Karave did. Believe it or not, bishop to d7 would be a better move. Back to our game. g takes on f6. It's very difficult to resist the temptation. Especially if you see a defense to your opponent's threat. And Isha Karavid saw a defense. Pawn takes pawn. White is threatening queen takes on h6 and then queen to g7 checkmate. Knight to f5. If queen goes to d8, then bishop takes on g6. And black is advised not to take the bishop with the pawn. Queen takes on f6 is the best defense and then bishop to d3, white is standing better. Knight to f5. Defending the pawn on h6, bishop takes knight, removing the defender, pawn takes bishop, it is white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find queen takes on h6? If you did, no congratulations. Isha Karavid was counting on this continuation, and this is what she had in mind. Queen to b6 check, and after king to h1, queen takes on f6. After knight takes on d5, attacking the queen, queen goes to h8, and black is okay. Back to our game. So queen takes on h6 is not the right move. Sion played, knight takes on d5. Changing the move order. The knight is now defending the pawn on f6. The game continued. Q4. 
queen to c5 check. How would you continue now? Jeffrey Sion played the best move. Rook to e3. Very shortly you will see why is this the best move. Black to move. Rook to d8. Making the room for the queen on f8. Queen to h6, threatening checkmate. Queen to f8, defending g7 square. But there is another hole in black's defense. What is it? White move. White played a move and black resigned. And the move is knight to e7 check. Isha Karaveid resigned in view of this continuation. Knight takes on e7. What else? Knight takes on e7. Pawn takes knight, forking the queen and the rook. And after black plays the obvious, queen takes on h6. Pawn takes rook, queen, check. King to h7. And then white can win in more than one way, but rook to h3 is good enough. That is why Isha Karavid resigned in this position. And let's go back to this critical moment of the game. This is the position. Did you see the killer move? If you did, congratulations. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.